What's up guys, welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. It is your host Kboxer456 here and I'm finally back, I miss you guys. It's been such a long time that I haven't uploaded a video. It's been almost like a month and it's gonna be the last video that I'm gonna be apologizing in because it's been such a long time that I haven't uploaded a video and because of that you guys are probably like in the comments down below like telling me that I should like upload videos more and also that you keep on repeating the same thing and you should do something different on your channel and hear me out guys because I am going to be doing something different on my channel. So the time that I was alone and I was away from YouTube, I basically didn't know what I wanted to do on my channel and so I started thinking and then I finally came to the conclusion that I wanted to make a how-to channel based on fortnite a little bit i'm also gonna be doing like csgo videos but mainly i'm gonna do fortnite because it's a very popular game it's probably the game of like the year because fortnite battle royale is a new genre and a lot of people are struggling to get better at this game simply because the gameplay keeps on changing the metas and i'm gonna be making guides on how to like play with the metas and get better and get through this harsh time because in this period of season 5 fortnite battle royale is like it's like going through some bad times because explosives are overpowered wood got a huge nerf that i'm going to be talking about in a separate video and also uh like wood gets shot down easily but wait i forgot what i was gonna say oh also that there's rifts i guess and smgs are taking over the game basically Exposes and, and SMGs are very overpowered and I feel like they need some balance, but They should be used also because I'm finally happy that shotguns got a huge nerf simply because people were spamming shotguns and it was just annoying and Fortnite Battle Royale in my opinion shouldn't be a shotgun only game like there should be other strategies and ways to win the game But I come across a llama right here start whacking it with my pickaxe Almost like if I was in a, in a party. Nobody landed in Paradise Palms. And also, I missed a campfire, but I'm going to pick it up in a sec. But before I do that, I'm going to be drinking this, these uh, minis and then a uh, big pop. But I'm looking pretty nice in good shape. And I come out of here with some nice loot. And I spend the entire game looting. So I'm going to be fast forwarding it in just a sec. I just want to, uh, like talk about a few things that happen here so okay so I'm, I'm basically high in materials if you play 50 v 50 you're gonna have lots of materials which is a good thing it get you get like double the materials that you get in a normal game of fortnite if you're playing like different modes other than 50 v 50 come across the launch pad and this is where i debate should i use the launch pad to get away from the storm but the problem is if i do use it then i'm gonna burn through my mats quickly and i don't want that or should I basically outrun the storm and do a savage play? Which turns out I end up doing. I end up running from the storm. And it works in my favor because the storm takes a little while to like get you. But I mean to, to reach the, the safe zone. But the thing is that you don't want to spend all of your time looting in 50v50. Because the safe zone is pretty far away depending on where you've landed. Most, it's most likely going to be far away. So if you get like caught off guard the storm might pinch you and you might end up dying to the storm because it does a lot of damage it does like a two or five tick I'm, I'm not really too sure and as the safe zone starts to close in in the final circle then it starts doing 10 and, and it's ridiculous it's like a, a huge war in 50 v 50 in the final circle so you want to get to that final circle right away and you don't want to rush people you want to basically stay with your teammates in 50 v 50 and okay so i'm gonna, gonna basically stop Telling you guys some tips on 50 50 because I'm gonna leave that for another video also because it's just good to have like lots of videos for different things. But right here, as you guys can see, I get stacked up, I get 10 minis, which is nice because it's something rare that you don't get in every game unless if you start killing people. But right there, I also made a dumb mistake. I basically didn't pick up the minigun, and miniguns are very overpowered in this game, along with other weapons such as the drum gun the smg the new p90 smg the one that fires 50 rounds uh per second i guess or i i don't know i just i just said that at the at the top of my head but it, the clip does have 50 
ammo so I'm running here outside I decide to abandon uh, paradise palms and as you guys can see I'm kind of like like pausing a little bit because I'm, I'm talking way too fast in, in my video so I do have like a minor pause but I'm gonna fast forward this gameplay right now and you guys are gonna basically see me when I'm very close to the the final circle I mean the, the safe zone pause so I'll see you guys in a bit Okay, so right here, I basically, I'm looting. I'm near the containers. This place is a good place to farm. It has wooden pallets, and it's and it's just very good for, for mats. So I'm right here. I'm running towards, like, the containers, and I go inside it, and I want to use it as a line of sight because I don't want to get caught off guard, like, by anybody because people will fight you in the storm. Like, that's how dumb people are in this game. They, they don't care about... If the storm is gonna make them take massive amounts of damage, they just want the kill. Like they, they will literally just follow you and start spamming their weapons in the storm and try to fight you just to get one kill. When they could just like avoid you, get into the safe zone and then reposition to get the the high ground and beat you. And that's what I personally think is the best strategy to fight somebody if you're if you're like close to the safe zone, but right here. Oh, I thought it was a bush camper. It really did look like a bush camper. Boy, oh boy. Like, bush campers are, are noobs 100% of the time. Well, I came across a bush camper one time in Season 4. And believe me when I tell you this, he was actually a good player. He basically camped in a bush. And I shot him, but none of the shots hit him. And that's the annoying thing about bushes. Like, sometimes you miss shots and it goes right through the bush. And then the guy ended up kill killing me. So I'm right here trying to, I guess, destroy these wooden pallets and I'm trying to fight people. So I decided I'm going to basically talk about what I'm, well, I'm not going to talk about what I'm going to do. I'm just going to basically do it. So every day I upload a video, you guys are going to basically see what I'm going to do every day, like the content that I'm going to bring. It's going to be like a surprise, but I could tell you guys that the next video is going to be how to complete the birthday challenge that just released the the 24th of of july which is the the one year anniversary of fortnite and this guy is just spamming like, you guys could see right here he, he's just spamming i'm trying to build and get some shots into him but he's just spamming his grenade launcher this guy is spraying and praying but he's also hard peeking and he ends up getting killed you guys are gonna see in a moment so i'm basically waiting for him to peek and then he shoots my structure down again. So I rebuild it again and then he keeps on spamming his grenade launcher. So I decided to back up a bit because like grenade launchers are deadly. You do not want to get like shot by one. And right here I take some quick shots at him. I, and then I knock him down basically because he's peeking. Like this guy is clearly dumb. Like you do not want to peek in this game for one second. He's just peeking. Like, and then I'm getting some tags on him. Guys. and they decide to hide behind these walls and just spray my AR because they're, they're not doing it they're just beat and then my teammates steal my kills that's what I don't like about my teammates I don't see my kills teammates trying to work hard to get eliminations and because they stole my kills I didn't get any eliminations other than this one and another one that's coming up in the side I'm also stuttering so I really can't control that because it's been such a while that I actually made a video that sometimes when you, when you like stop making videos you forget to commentate. So I'm right here in the final circle. Basically there's four people left that fast and I'm waiting for 
for I guess well not really waiting I'm just trying to find out where these last three people are because they're just camper moves and they, they can't do anything about it unless if there's a, a pro and then they could basically kill everybody on my team which I doubt it so I'm right here looking 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 I see some nice loot but I don't take it because there's only three people left and what's the point of looting if the game is about to end already so here's where I decide to go inside the house just to see because I heard some footsteps and I thought it was a player and this is what my my teammate does he, he almost RPGs me like this guy almost killed me with like my with his own RPG basically and I don't know why I'm stuttering this game so I hear some like fighting over here so I know that the player the last player must be around here like the last three players so I try to spot if I can see the last player and I spot him he's like down here and he's basically camping so I basically light him up and then I shoot him he tries to ramp rush me dumb idea he should have just built up before that I ended up getting the last kill picking up the win so there you guys have it I won officially and also I forgot to say in my video in the in the beginning that if you want to be eligible to win and receive my special 1k subscriber giveaway all you gotta do is do the three the three uh things that i'm gonna have up on the screen you gotta be subscribed to my channel like my videos leave a comment down below and you'll be eligible to enter my giveaway contest and you could be one of many people to win but anyways thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for more